If you have ever been wondering how to add stars in your photo where there is no stars initially, then this video is for you. I'm going to show you different methods uh, here. And if you want to find different uh, resources after watching the video, check the description. So right now I'm going to show you how to add stars on your image to add a bit of magic or to give the vibe that it's night. So there are different ways to add stars inside of Photoshop and you are going to see that it's not complicated at all. So what you can do is to uh, do a sky replacement. So that the, that's the first option. Uh, if you have a sky with some uh, stars on it, then you can do a sky replacement and it might work if your image is already a night image. If it's a day image and you add a night sky, uh, it might look completely weird. But yeah, if you want to add stars, usually uh, might be a night image initially. So here I'm using a sky that is part of my uh, sky uh, pack and I have two skies with uh, stars. So there is this one and there is this one pretty similar one is darker than the other so it depends of your image so then you just click ok and it adds um, the sky replacement group and you can see this is before and this is after so that's one of the option the other option is to add only the stars with brushes so here what i'm gonna do is that i'm going to change the skies anyway because here it's a photo where there are clouds so doesn't make sense to add stars on top of clouds so I'm going to add a sky without clouds so let's see what I'm gonna choose um, I need to choose something that is kind of dark initially uh, I wanted to I have one that I think could fit this one or this one let's choose this one Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is to change the settings a bit, something like that. Yeah, like that. And then we are going to add some stars on top of it. So, once again, there are different methods. You can buy a stars brush. So, for example, uh, in my sky pack, you have the stars brush. And the only thing you have to do is to click and drag if you want a sky full of stars. Or if you want just stars here and there, you just click multiple times. And the good thing with my brush is that um, every time you click, it's changing the position of the brush, which, mean, which means that the, the stars are not going to be at the exact same position every time and then if you see some uh, stars that you don't like you can just erase them the one that you feel are too big or not well located and here just like that you have very subtle stars so here this is the solution with a star brush that you can uh, buy for example now the other solution would be to take a normal brush so go to the first brushes that you have here. Here it's in French, but don't worry, they will be the same. Just use the first one. And then you use uh, the second brush. Okay? That will be 100% honest, 100% opacity. You make it very small. You choose a white color, so D on your keyboard, and then X to have the white color on top. And what you're going to do is to just click and change the size and click so it's longer because you need to click here and there change the size to make it natural not too big um, I'm gonna choose eight. and then you click here and there to create the stars manually so it's at least very easy to do, but it might not look super natural. So you can see the difference here with this one and here with this one. That's less natural. So here is just with the brush one by one. And then there is a third technique that you might like is that you go, uh, so you, you press B. And you click or you click on brush so you click uh, on the brush on the little arrow here and then on the little wheel 
and you click on get more brushes. It's going to open a window. And then uh, you can see there are different brushes and you can download, download them for free. The one that we want is Spater. So you click on download. Then you go back inside of Photoshop. Same thing, little arrow of the brush. And here we're gonna choose import brushes. Here we have our Spater brush that we just downloaded. I click open and it's opening here. So you can see there are different uh, brushes, so they all do different things. But in our case, we want to create stars, so we are going to choose um, this one, 444.1. And then you're gonna have to uh, try the size. But here you can uh, create stars with this brush. So what I recommend is to uh, click once, then change the size, and click multiple times here and there. And that looks pretty natural, I think. Then same thing, you can just use the eraser to delete the ones that you think are too big. So this is before and this is after, and just like that, you created some stars. If you think it's too much, you can always reduce the opacity a little bit, so it's blending a bit more with the sky. So here, this is the splitter pack. So you have the first version, which is actually the sky replacement. So here is the first version the stars brush that you can buy, then uh, brush one by one with just a circle, normal circle brush, and the splitter pack. I really like the splitter pack and the stars brush, of course. But yeah, that's ways that you can use to create stars and a dreamy sky for your images.